Greta Nissen, a trailblazing actress, left an indelible mark on the film industry during the 1920s and 1930s. Born in Norway, she moved to the United States to pursue her dreams of stardom. After signing with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, she quickly became a popular leading lady, appearing in numerous silent films. One of Nissen's most notable roles was in the 1929 film The Vagabond King, where she starred alongside legendary actor Dennis King. However, it was her work in the 1930 film Salute that truly cemented her place in Hollywood history. Nissen's performance in Salute was so impressive that it earned her a contract with Paramount Pictures, making her one of the most sought-after actresses of her time. Despite facing numerous challenges in an industry that was often unkind to women, Nissen persevered and continued to work in film and theater for several more decades. Her contributions to the world of entertainment have inspired countless aspiring actors and actresses, and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Actress Greta Nissen is a classic Hollywood star, known for her work in the early 19s. You may have first recognized her in movies like Glad Rag Doll or The Viking. We're eager to hear about any personal stories or memories you have of Greta Nissen and how she has inspired or impacted your life. Perhaps you have a favorite movie or performance of hers that holds a special place in your heart. As we delve deeper into this classic star's life, we'll uncover many surprising and interesting facts about her. From her early beginnings in the entertainment industry to her rise to fame, there's much to explore. So keep watching to learn more about this fascinating actress and share your stories and memories with us in the comments below. Greta Nissen, born in Oslo, Norway, was surrounded by an artistic family. Her mother, a talented pianist, and her father, a successful businessman, encouraged her to explore various forms of art from a young age. Nissen's early exposure to dance and theater in her community laid the foundation for her future career in acting and dancing. At the age of 16, Nissen moved to Germany to train as a ballet dancer, where she was discovered by a film director. This encounter led to her first film role in 1924, and she quickly gained recognition for her talent and beauty. Nissen's path to stardom was influenced by several key figures in the film industry. In Germany, she worked with director Georg Jacobi, who recognized her potential and helped her develop her acting skills. Later, in Hollywood, she collaborated with renowned directors such as Cecil B. DeMille and Raoul Walsh, who provided her with opportunities to showcase her talent in major productions. Despite facing challenges as a foreign actress in Hollywood, Nissen's determination and passion for her craft enabled her to build a successful career. Her early experiences and relationships with mentors and colleagues in the film industry played a crucial role in shaping her career and solidifying her place as a notable actress in the silent film era. Greta Nissen was a Norwegian actress who made a name for herself in Hollywood during the 1920s and 1930s. She appeared in over 30 films throughout her career, many of which are considered classics today. One of Nissen's most well-known roles was in the 1929 film The Vagabond King, where she starred alongside Rudolf Valentino. In this film, Nissen played the role of Catherine de Vaucelles, a French princess who falls in love with a wandering minstrel. Another must-watch movie for Nissen fans is the 1930 film Madame Satan, where she played the role of Angela, a socialite who disguises herself as a mysterious figure in order to win back her husband's affections. For those new to Nissen's work, the Vagabond King and Madame Satan are great places to start. These films showcase Nissen's talent as an actress and her ability to play a wide range of roles. In addition to her work in film, Nissen was also known for her work as a dancer and singer. She often performed in nightclubs and theaters around Hollywood and was known for her stunning beauty and captivating stage presence. Overall, Greta Nissen's filmography is a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. Her work continues to be celebrated and enjoyed by audiences today, and she remains an important figure in the history of Hollywood cinema. Greta Nissen, born in Norway, discovered her passion for acting at a young age. She was a talented dancer and often performed in local productions. One day, a director noticed her and offered her a small role in a play. Greta was thrilled and realized that she wanted to pursue a career in acting. She moved to America and started working in small theater productions. Her big break came when she was offered a contract with Paramount Pictures. 
However, a wardrobe malfunction during the filming of Cleopatra led to her being replaced by Claudette Colbert. Despite this setback, Greta continued to pursue her passion for acting. She appeared in several films throughout the 1930s and became known for her beauty and grace. She also continued to perform in theater productions and became a respected stage actress. Greta's passion for acting was fueled by her love of storytelling and her desire to connect with audiences. She once said, I love the excitement of being on stage, of bringing a character to life, and making an emotional connection with the audience. Her pivotal experiences in the world of acting shaped her career and solidified her passion for the craft. Greta Nissen is an actress who replaced Greta Garbo in the 1926 film The Love Thief. Despite her talent, Nissen is often overlooked in Hollywood's history. However, she was mentioned in an episode of Burke's Law titled Who Killed Mr. X, which aired on September 27, 1963, as one of the forgotten stars of the past. In 1902728, Nissen starred in the film Hell's Angels. She earned 25 on a week, but when the film was converted to sound, she was replaced by Jean Harlow, who worked for 250. This significant pay difference highlights the disparity between actors during the transition from silent films to talkies. Despite being replaced, Nissen's impact on the film industry remains noteworthy. Her story serves as a reminder of the challenges and injustices that actors faced during the early days of Hollywood. Greta Nissen, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges in her early career. Born in Norway, she moved to America with dreams of making it big in Hollywood. However, financial struggles were a constant obstacle. To make ends meet, she worked as a model and dance instructor, all while pursuing her acting career. In addition to financial struggles, Nissen faced skepticism from the industry. At the time, blonde actresses were not in high demand, and Nissen's Norwegian accent was seen as a hindrance rather than an asset. Despite these setbacks, Nissen remained determined and resilient. To overcome industry skepticism, Nissen took matters into her own hands. She worked tirelessly to perfect her American accent, and even went so far as to change her name to Greta Nissen to sound more American. Her hard work paid off when she was cast in the lead role of the 1929 film The Skyhawk. However, just as her career was taking off, disaster struck. A studio fire destroyed the film's only print, and with it, Nissen's chance at stardom. But Nissen refused to let this setback defeat her. She continued to act in smaller roles and eventually transitioned to the stage, where she became a successful musical theater actress. Throughout her career, Nissen faced numerous obstacles, from financial struggles to industry skepticism. But with determination, hard work, and a little bit of creativity, she overcame each hurdle and left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Greta Nissen, a talented actress, began her American film career with the movie Lost a Wife in 1925, opposite Adolf Menju, instead of Lady of Lyons as initially planned. She had studied ballet under the renowned Mikhail Fakin and made her Broadway debut in Beggar on Horseback. Nissen also worked with Florence Ziegfeld Jr. in the 1926 production No Foolin'. Unfortunately, Nissen's heavy Norwegian accent led to her replacement by Jean Harlow in the 1930 film Hell's Angels when producer Howard Hughes decided to switch to sound. Despite this setback, Nissen became a celebrity spokesperson for Lux Toilet Soap in 1931. Her talent and determination allowed her to continue in the spotlight, showcasing her versatility and resilience in the face of adversity. Greta Nissen, a Norwegian actress, made a significant impact in Hollywood during the 1920s and 1930s. One of her earliest breakthrough moments came when she was crowned Miss Norway in 1920, which led to her pursuit of a career in acting. In 1924, Nissen moved to the United States and began working in Hollywood. She quickly gained recognition for her work in the 1926 film The Black Pirate, where she starred alongside Douglas Fairbanks. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Nissen's performance was praised for her grace and athleticism. Another turning point in Nissen's career came in 1929 when she was cast as the lead in the film Salute, which was one of the first sound films ever made. However, due to her thick Norwegian accent, Nissen was replaced by Jeanette McDonald just before filming began. This led to a significant setback in her career, but Nissen remained determined to succeed. Nissen continued to work in films throughout the 1930s, appearing in movies such as The Vagabond King and Madame Dewberry. 
She also became known for her work in stage productions, including a successful run in the Broadway play The Dancing Girl. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her career, Nissen remained a respected and admired figure in Hollywood. Her peers and collaborators often spoke of her professionalism, talent, and determination. Critic Edwin Shallard of the Los Angeles Times described Nissen as a young woman of charm and distinction and praised her grace and beauty. Nissen's impact on the film industry can still be felt today. Her pioneering work in early sound films helped pave the way for future generations of actors, and her performances in films such as The Black Pirate continue to inspire and captivate audiences. In conclusion, Greta Nissen's career was marked by several breakthrough moments, including her early success in The Black Pirate and her work in stage productions. Despite facing setbacks and challenges, Nissen remained a respected and admired figure in Hollywood, known for her talent, determination, and professionalism. Her contributions to the film industry continue to be celebrated and remembered today. Greta Nissen was a Norwegian actress known for her work in Hollywood during the 1920s and 1930s. She is often remembered for being replaced by Jean Harlow in the film Platinum Blonde due to her pronounced Norwegian accent. Nissen once said, I was replaced by a girl with a smaller nose and less talent. One of Nissen's most memorable roles was in the 1929 film The Vagabond King, where she played the character of Catherine de Vosselles. Co-star Dennis King, who played the lead role of Franja Villain, said of Nissen, she was a delight to work with, always professional and prepared. Despite her success in Hollywood, Nissen returned to Norway in the 1940s and became a prominent figure in the Norwegian film industry. She passed away in 1988, but her legacy as a talented actress continues to this day. One interesting anecdote about Nissen involves her love for horses. She was an accomplished equestrian and often incorporated her love for horses into her films. In the 1928 film The Mysterious Lady, Nissen performed a daring horseback riding stunt that left audiences in awe. Nissen's talent and dedication to her craft have not gone unnoticed. As co-star Dennis King put it, Greta Nissen was a true professional and a joy to work with. Her talent and beauty will always be remembered. Greta Nissen, a Norwegian-born actress, was known for her unique approach to her work. She had a distinctive style that combined grace, elegance, and a touch of humor. Nissen believed in fully immersing herself in her roles, often conducting extensive research to understand her character's motivation and backgrounds. One of the things that set Nissen apart from her peers was her ability to bring a sense of authenticity to her performances. She was known for her attention to detail, often spending hours perfecting her movements, expression, and delivery to ensure that her characters felt real and relatable to her audience. Nissen's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in her work. Having grown up in Norway, she brought a unique perspective to her roles, often infusing them with a sense of warmth, kindness, and resilience that was reflective of her upbringing. She was also a strong advocate for women's rights and often used her platform to speak out on issues related to gender equality and social justice. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her career, including discrimination and prejudice due to her gender and nationality, Nissen remained committed to her craft and continued to push boundaries and challenge conventions. Her work remains an inspiration to aspiring actors and filmmakers around the world, and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Greta Nissen was a talented dancer and actress who was recognized for her abilities from a very young age. She was a protege of the Queen of Norway, who took charge of her education and introduced her to the world of dance. By the time she was five years old, Nissen had already performed at the Royal Opera House in Copenhagen and at the royal courts of three European countries. Nissen's natural talent and dedication to dance quickly set her apart from her peers. She was a quick learner and had a strong work ethic, which allowed her to excel in her studies and in her performances. Her early experiences at the Royal Opera House and at the Royal Courts gave her a strong foundation in dance and helped her to develop the skills and confidence she would need to succeed in her future endeavors. Despite her success as a dancer, Nissen was not content to rest on her laurels. She was driven to constantly improve and to push herself to new heights. This drive and determination led her to pursue a career in acting and she quickly became known for her talent and versatility on the stage and screen. Nissen's career as an actress spanned several decades, 
and she appeared in numerous films and stage productions during that time. She was respected and admired by her peers for her professionalism and her dedication to her craft. Nissen's contributions to the world of dance and acting have left a lasting legacy and she is still remembered and celebrated today for her many accomplishments. Greta Nissen was a Norwegian-born actress who made a significant impact in Hollywood during the 1920s and 1930s. She's best known for her work in silent films and is often cited as a pioneer for women in the industry. One of Nissen's most notable contributions to the film industry was her innovative use of dance and movement in her acting. As a trained dancer, Nissen brought a unique physicality to her roles, which helped to elevate the art of silent film acting. Her expressive movements and ability to convey emotion through physicality were highly influential and helped to pave the way for future actresses. Nissen's impact on the film industry was not limited to her acting technique. She was also a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, advocating for equal pay and opportunities for women in the industry. Her activism and advocacy helped to create a more inclusive and equitable environment for women in Hollywood. Industry experts and those inspired by Nissen have praised her contributions to the film industry. Film historian Kevin Brownlow described Nissen as one of the most graceful and elegant of all the silent screen actresses, while actress and director Ava DuVernay has cited Nissen as an inspiration for her own work in the industry. Nissen's influence can still be seen in modern film and television, particularly in the way that actresses approach physicality and movement in their roles. Her advocacy for women's rights and equality in the industry has also left a lasting impact, inspiring future generations of actresses and filmmakers to continue pushing for change. Overall, Greta Nissen's contributions to the film industry were significant and far-reaching. Her innovative acting technique, advocacy for women's rights, and impact on trends and techniques in the industry have left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire and influence filmmakers and actresses today. Greta Nissen, a Norwegian-born actress, experienced a significant setback in her career. She was originally cast as the lead in the 1930 film King Kong. However, she was replaced during post-production by Fay Ray due to her heavy Norwegian accent which proved problematic for the sound version of the movie. This tragic turn of events had a profound impact on Nissen's career, as King Kong became a major success, and she was left to watch from the sidelines. Despite this unfortunate incident, Nissen continued to act in films throughout the 1930s, uh, primarily in supporting roles. Greta Nissen, the Norwegian-born actress, led a life full of glamour and grace, both on and off the silver screen. Despite her fame, she remained dedicated to her personal values and interests, which often informed her work in Hollywood. Nissen was known for her love of animals and nature, often spending her free time horseback riding and hiking in the beautiful California landscapes. This passion for the outdoors inspired her to support various environmental causes throughout her career. She was an early advocate for wildlife conservation and often used her platform to raise awareness about the importance of preserving natural habitats. In addition to her environmental activism, Nissen was also deeply committed to supporting her local community. She was involved in several charitable organizations, using her resources and influence to make a positive impact on those around her. One such cause close to her heart was helping immigrants assimilate into American society, drawing from her own experiences as a Norwegian immigrant. Greta Nissen's personal values and interests were a driving force behind her philanthropic efforts and career choices. Her dedication to preserving the environment, supporting her community, and advocating for immigrants serves as a testament to her compassionate and caring nature. Nissen's life and work continue to inspire and influence those in the entertainment industry and beyond, leaving a lasting legacy that resonates with people even today. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the work and legacy of Greta Nissen, a remarkable actress who left her mark on the early Hollywood scene. Nissen was known for her grace and beauty and she starred in several films during the 1920s and 1930s. Despite facing challenges in the industry, she persevered and continued to act in both films and on stage. If you're familiar with Nissen's work, please share your favorite performances or roles in the comments below. We're eager to hear your insights and memories of this talented actress. And if you're new to Nissen's story, we encourage you to explore her films and learn more about her contributions to the entertainment industry. Her work continues to inspire 
and influence artists today. If you enjoy this content, please consider liking and sharing it with your friend and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more profiles of the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. Together, we can celebrate the legacies of these remarkable individuals and inspire future generations of artists.